Hi, I'm Andrea. And I'm Jasmine. And we're Natural You Yarns. Here to kick off the summer of socks and along. Yeah, <laughs> and what an exciting summer of socks it's going to be. I know, well we just have so many different sock patterns. I hope everyone has their yarn. And everybody um, is ready to start with one of the two patterns that we've suggested so far. And you know, we always mention the third pattern throughout the entire year. And for some reason, I didn't put it in the write-up. So I totally blocked it's it. It's a complete surprise today. We've got a third pattern to mention, and I think it's just a little extra incentive to knit more socks this sure. summer. Sure, yeah, and if everybody's knitting lots of socks, we'll come up with, we'll, we'll do Time more to take a picture of the yarn they're working with, mm -hmm. um, post it on their social media, and tag us. And let us know which pattern you're tackling. Along with the hashtag, Summer of Socks. Perfect. Um, Every time you do that, it is a ballot into our grand prize draw at the end of the summer. Uh, contents to be announced. But it's usually <laughs> a good prize. We always have good prizes. Well, yeah, because we... I haven't had anybody <laughs> say I don't art. want it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's the first thing you could do to get involved, is take a photo of your yarn and post it to your social media. You can share that post then into the Year of Adventurous Knitting Facebook group if you like to and keep you, everyone up to speed. Yes, and you really should mark yourself going in the event mm -hmm. so that we know that you're out there even if you don't like to um, really identify yourself a lot because you're shy or something. Yeah, that's okay. Which is fun. Knitting is kind but of an introverted, really extroverted activity. It can, you know, either way. If we weren't introverts, we, I don't know. We wouldn't be happy sitting at home knitting? I don't know. We'd be knitting in public all the time. <laughs> Some people do. I guess, yeah. Anyway, the socks that Jasmine has knit to show you a sample of what they will look like. I didn't complete. It's okay. It's a knit along. Yeah, I'm on the last leg of my, of my knit. <laughs> oh, boy. So the first sock pattern suggested are the fondant socks. These are your regular length, um, up the shin, um, socks. And, and they're knit toe up? They're knit toe up, and they ha use a flegal heel, which if you haven't done that before, it is a heel flap in reverse, because you're knitting toe up. Uh, the pattern explains it fairly well. And they have this wonderful faux cabling, um, on either side of your toes on the And instep. then on the back of the leg. Yeah. Uh, Which I are, thought that was a nice surprise. It is a nice surprise. I'm going to show off the ones I've done so far. But okay. I, before I do, I want to say that they are meant to be knit using minis. That's what the designer called for. 25 gram minis, which is what we do. Um, <laughs> How perfect is that? And this one isn't really a gradient, though the colors do look lovely together. I chose to knit them in a gradient. Um, a gradient. So I've got them started here. And I'm just on really the last leg. I've got... Um, a couple You're in the more fourth color, centimeters, right? yeah, before I um, decide to do my ribbing. And because I did toe up, they um, obviously you get to see the full effect, but I also did two at a time. So I can pull them out of their blockers. The way I do two at a time, I was taught by my mom. I love doing two at a time this way. Put them down. And there is two different needles. Two fixed circulars. One is a 24 inch, the other is a 32 inch. One is used for the instep, the front of the sock, and the other is used for the heel. And that way you're knitting them flat, but in the round. <laughs> I, I don't know how else to describe it, that. There it, I find it less confusing to do it this way, and you have them clipped in between where they yeah, nice and that, that way they don't slide up and down the needles that way, and it also reminds you to change yarn between mm -hmm. the socks. I'm just trying to. They've taken the shape of the blocker, so you can't really see how how I knit them. But uh, two minis, well, one mini uh, rolled into two skeins, and one is for one sock, and the other is for the other. And just uh, when you get to that break in the sock, where that marker is to remind you that you have to switch yarn, you pick up the next yarn and knit. Yeah. It's a, it's a cool technique. I'm sure there are tutorials out there that can explain it a little Knitting bit better than I did. Knitting socks two at a time gets rid of, eliminates second sock syndrome. But because we're doing minis, there's so many 
And this one was a fade. It wasn't just you cut out one color, you fade in. And she teaches you how to do that over um, the course of 12 rows. Really great instruction. But because of that, I had four different colors going all at once and that got a bit, a uh, bit confusing, a little tangled and I don't know if I'd recommend it. Right, right. Okay, so the next set of socks that we knit in preparation were from the, short, the shorty sock pattern, which Ooh. is, look at that um, halo of socks. Mm -hmm. And it has six patterns included in the pattern. There are, is an A and B version to each of the three styles of socks. There's a stripey one, like what I knit, and this is called the stripey B. I love it. I knit it with three minis, and I ended up having 25 grams of yarn left. Yeah. So I think that you could probably, if you wanted to, knit a pair of these with just two minis. I bet you could. Yeah, it wouldn't look nice like this because of the three colors but um to knit a short little pair of socks like this it takes one mini per sock well that's why we tell each other everybody that we have the 50 gram echo our sock base because right. it will make one pair of shorty socks right so the math maths yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyway there's that there's a scrappy one so you can use your leftovers to knit another pair mm -hmm. and you can also there's a pair with little frills on the ankle which is that what you were going to do next or are you doing the pom-pom um, i was going to do the pom-pom there's this one here but i wanted to do it in a fade i'm obsessed i can't help it um i want to do it in a fade and then the pom-pom i want it to be one of my um, scrap yarns, just a pop of color on the oh, end. Oh, that looks, sounds nice. So the difference between the two um, patterns, besides the fact that you get six different patterns to work with, is that the fondant socks are free. This is a paid pattern, but it's really worth it. They're so cute. And they work really well with our, our well, sock sets, because if you're looking to fade, we've got fades in our minis. If you're looking for pops of color. And the other thing is that the, the pom-pom one, actually has an arch support built into the sock yeah. and that's really good for um, joggers and walkers and yeah I'm looking forward to learning that I think yeah so then last night I was we were talking about what I was gonna cast on because I finished the minis and I like a sock with a leg so actually we're gonna that's trade why, socks that's why these are for Andrea and these are for Jasmine mm -hmm. they don't look as good when they're not on the blockers you can't tell they're socks I can't wait. <laughs> It'll be all set for fall. Anyway, the third pair of socks, and I was talking about this all spring during our sweater knit along, is the sprocket socks. And I apologize to those of you that knit the sprocket sweater in anticipating knitting the sprocket socks because I don't know how we blanked that one. I have no idea because when I when Jasmine when I went through um my library, not the library, the favorites to see what I had we had lined up, I was like, Oh yeah, I wanted to knit that. There's also a sprocket hat. So if you're continuing with us into our um fall. Christmas our fall knit along. Yeah, let's say fall knit along. Yeah. That'll be an option too. Right. So anyway, this pattern calls for five minis, and I used numerous colors on the... How many did I use? Five or six on the... You used six. It's not up. Uh, one, one, two, two. three, four, <laughs> five. Five. I used colors. five, but I want to incorporate my main color as well, so my socks match my sweater. That's a wonderful and idea. And because Jasmine's clue about not doing two at a time with multiple strands of yarn per sock, I've cast on, on Learn double from points. my mistakes. I've cast on with double points. And the interesting thing is this is an, this pattern teaches you a new cast on. I had to, uh, I went to a very pink knit tutorial to learn how to do the twisted German cast on. Oh, I like and, the name of that. Right. And they, and it's very pretty. It looks, um, it's hard to show. It, it's cuffed down? Yeah. Okay. So I'll show it after I've got a little bit more knit, maybe in our next video. Yeah, I think that's good And idea. the reason that this um, is recommended is because it's super stretchy. So um, I'm looking forward to see how that plays out. Well, I don't know if you remember what cast on you used for these, but you also did cuff down. 
Mine was Toe Up, and I did Judy's Magic Cast On, um, which was, I, I've done it before, but I always forget in between, so I Is have to go to the tutorial. Is that the one where you do like a figure eight around the needles? Yes. And just a suggestion for if you're doing that cast on, even if you're going to work on double points, it really is easier to cast on if you one of your needles is a circular because you have to wind the yarn around both needles and then knit into it. And in order to get a nice tight start, it's easier if you can, you only knit off one of the needles at a time. So if you pull the needle out so that the yarn, the loops are over the cable, it makes it easier to knit into your, into your toe. Mm, I definitely use circulars. I use circulars, but I used one circular to start each, and then I moved them onto the the two with the front. That's a good back. idea too. Yeah, yeah. I, I did them separate, obviously. Even though I was going to do two at a time, I needed to start each, and I think I increased till I had about twelve rows on each toe before I did the next one, and then I combined them onto my my two needles. It can be a little confusing sometimes to. Um... And I'm not a huge sock knitter either, so that was a bit of a feat for me. Well, even starting on double points isn't always easy because they flop all over the They're place so until finicky. you've got a little bit of um, oomph on there. And I, some people like to cast all of the stitches onto a circular and then transfer them, like knit them onto the double points. I actually cast onto the double points all four. I, um... I divide my stitches into four, I, and I cast that number onto each one plus one, so that the last cast on, I move it onto the next needle, and then I continue to cast onto the second needle, and they all kind of hang weird. And then I prefer to sit at a table to make sure that they're all going the right way and that the yarn isn't twisted, and then I start to knit with the needles actually laying on the table so that nothing moves. Mm, mm. So I don't know if I dedicate that much time or thought to it. Anyway, if you guys have <laughs> I ideas... I just watched the Magic Tutorial cast on. The Magic <laughs> cast on tutorial. It... <laughs> and went from there. <laughs> if you guys have any hints and tips on um, mm. how to make things easier that we haven't exactly. thought of ourselves, please do share that in the group uh, for the Year of Adventures Knitting. Yeah. Because that's why we're all knitting together right? yes and as you're watching this youtube video please leave a comment um i'd love to know what sock pattern you've decided to go with i know that you're going to post that on your socials for a ballot um but drop a, a comment below and let us know if you prefer dpns or circulars yeah, yeah what you're starting if you're casting and on today like you don't need to necessarily just comment on the video you can um, we can all have a conversation in the Year of Adventures knitting as well. In the discussion, uh, the show notes, I will be dropping links to the Year of Adventures knitting group, along with the event page for the Knit Along on Facebook, so that you can have all the details and links to the patterns. Right. And popular demand has suggested that perhaps we will do some Zoom socials. Yeah, because people do like them, even though summer is a hard time to organize yeah. anyone. So, um, stay tuned for posts regarding when that might happen. Oh, that will be listed in the group we talked about and on the event. Okay, um, until next week. Yes. Have fun. Happy cast on. Yeah, happy knitting. Well, bye. Bye. Be natural. Be you.